welcome back to the fire and water cooking channel this is Darren and today what I'm going to do I'm just going to do a quick little walk around video on the Camp Chef Smoke Pro SG24 pellet grill that uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick walk around I do have the sear box on its way so I will update this video when the sear box comes showing you how that works and what that does is attaches to the side where the shelf is and it's a gas powered um, just a little mini grill that gets up to a thousand degrees this grill though actually has something called the slide and grill feature and I'm going to show that to you in a second so here's what the grill looks like it's actually um, a pretty good size grill it's 24 inch is what it's called with the box inside but it actually has almost 800 square inches of cooking space and I'm going to show you why that is if you look at that that's actually a good two tier um, cooking space here and these actually slide out so you can actually have two full racks on here um, the back of the grill is not rounded it's pretty square and it goes straight up so it's actually pretty tall compared to some of the other pellet grills out there which gives it more uh, or vertical space going up and down so that uh, you got more room to put uh, food on there you could probably put a good you know 30 pounds of pork butt on here um, probably two good full-size packer briskets maybe even three uh, five maybe six racks of ribs you know so you got plenty of room on here um, one of the things I want to show you is the pellet hopper this particular model has 22 pound capacity which is rather large most of their older um, grills only had 18 pounds and why that's important is because the more pellets you can have available for the grill the less time you have to take you know putting more pellets in if you're doing a longer cook like smoking a brisket for 12 hours or so you don't want to have to come out here and put pellets in here every couple hours so having a big 22 pound uh, hopper is a uh, real uh, real important for those long cooks one of the other things that this particular hopper has it has on the back there's a little chute down here if you can see it and this little handle if you pull that handle out that chute all your uh, pellets that you're loaded into the hopper already will actually come out that chute and you can push them out and what that allows you to do is change your flavor of pellets so if you have applewood pellets in there and you want to switch to hickory because you're cooking something that wants a little bit more smoke you can change those pellets out without having to suck them out with a shop vac or something so that's one of the one of the reasons I love this particular grill also if you look on the front panel here you have two smoke options one's a low and one's a high uh, so you can actually do some really good low smoking if you were going to do some like uh, smoke some bacon or sausage or something like that where you really don't want to cook it you just want to get some smoke to it you can use that low smoke feature it also has two meat probes that are built into it so you can actually have two different kinds of meat on there and monitor the temperatures and they will show on the LED readout there the fuse is located on the front of the of the uh, control panel instead of inside the unit so it's easy to get to if you need to change it out it's got several different uh, temperature options there this particular handle right here is for that slide and grill feature I was telling you about you pull this handle out it opens up your um, fire pot so you can actually be exposed expose the flame to this louvered um, drip pan you see that drip pan has a bunch of holes in it and the, the holes are kind of angled so that the grease doesn't get down into it it's actually angled so that they will the flame will come out but the uh, grease won't get down into it so if you see that heat deflector is covering up the fire pot right now if I slide that back it exposes the fire this is the flame will get on that you know right under those uh, that louver drip pan so I use it the other day to cook hamburgers on you can do it for steaks anything you want to get a 
char on. Another uh, cool thing about this particular grill, and it's uh, Camp Chef has the patent on this, so I don't think you'll see it on any other grill. If you notice the fire pot there, if you notice this little rod, this has what's called the automatic ash cleanout system. And what you do is after after you do a cook and you want to clean out your ash pot, because it's very uh, important that you clean this out after every cook because it'll get build up in there and it'll affect your affect the running of the grill. You can get grease fires in there. You can get all kinds of problems. So what this does after you clean it, you this little knob actually pull that and it opens up a little trap door and your ash falls to the bottom into a little cup that's on the bottom and you just turn the cup pull it out and then you can remove your ash most other pellet grills you have to uh, actually open this take out all your uh, all your grates and everything and your heat deflector and your uh, gr grease pan and you got to take a shop back and suck all that stuff out of there. Now, you're still going to want to do that maybe once every couple weeks or a month for the stuff that's around the side here. But you won't have to do that with your ash pan or your, your firebox. So that's a really good benefit to this. The Camp Chef grills, they all have those. So that's another great function. Um, another great function, of course, is you've got the, the grease drip out here. You got your little bucket to catch your grease. That's easy to get to, easy to clean. And that's about it, guys. I mean, it's very easy to operate. Some of these features you won't have on any other grills, like the ash removal, the sliding grill feature, um, the uh, pellet cleanout dump on the uh, on the hopper. Uh, I mean, it's an awesome little grill, and I know that they sell. Uh, I'm really happy to use this. Like I said, the sear box will be here hopefully next week, and I'll do an update on that and kind of show you what that is by itself. But oh, I just want to get that's the picture of the ash cleanout cup there, and that just turns off and you pull it out, empty it out, and put it back on. So that's it, guys. That's my quick walk around. I'm going to be doing a cook on this later today, and I'll show you how it works. But thanks for joining me, and check out the Camp Chef pellet grills.